Okay, so, um, I've been taking these pictures over the last couple of years, and, um, they're just pictures of different, um, shadows and reflections that I thought were kind of cool. So, um, every time I saw one, I just kind of took a picture, and some of them I think are mo more cool than others, but... I thought that I would show them to you um, on the computer just to have some, you know, computer little clicky sounds. So, uh, now this one, this one right here, this is actually how it started. I know it's not really very interesting, but I just happened to notice uh, this is a curtain in my house, and behind it there's just some mini blinds, and the whole room was pretty much dark, and just this light was coming through the blinds, and I, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty out, it was just there by itself with these lines here, shining through. So I snapped a picture, and so then I started to become a little bit more aware of different reflections that I was seeing, or shadows in my house. So I just started taking pictures every time I would see one. So I'm going to go through and let you see all of them. Okay. So. One is pretty, um, that's really all I have to say about that one. So let's, let's look at this one here. This one may be a little bit hard to, to see. It's not, I tried not to, um, really, um, change the pictures at all, um, uh, except for cropping them, and this one I guess I could have tried to make it a little more uh, like a contrast so you could see it, but this picture I was actually, I was laying on my floor, <laughs> I had just done some exercise, and I was laying on the floor and stretching, and I looked up at the ceiling, and this is the ceiling of my house, and not sure if you can see, I noticed there was just this one little tiny um, ray of sunshine on the ceiling. It's pretty small. It was maybe about three or four inches. So this whole thing was just about three or four inches long. And if you can see, um, it looked more clear in person, but it's just these perfect little circles, and it looks exactly like the game Slither.io. Uh, if you know that game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it was just there all by itself, just for that moment that I was laying on the floor stretching, and then it disappeared and never came back. <laughs> but I was able to grab a picture of it before it went away. one was pretty cool. So let's see this next one. Okay, so this one I kind of obviously manipulated it a little bit. Um, and uh, this, this uh, plant was sitting on the windowsill and it was more uh, like down in a different spot somewhere down here and I couldn't really see the whole plant in the picture, but I really thought that the detail of these little, I don't know what you call them, that's the plant, um, just kind of sticking out like, almost looks like a pineapple here, and you can even see all the little detail on each one there. I just thought it looked cool, so I picked it up and took a picture of it, so that's that one. 
And let's see, this one here, I just thought it was pretty. This is just a reflection out in the backyard of one of my plants out there. And the shadow I thought was really pretty with all these little leaves here. Um, I thought the shadow was just as pretty as the actual plant itself. So I just grabbed a picture of it. So then this one here, that's my dog. <laughs> he was sitting on that same window. Um, so this is pretty much his spot. He likes to sit up there on the windowsill every day and just watch out the window. So I was trying to grab a picture of him as he was sitting up there. I think I got a couple, but I thought that was a nice little shot. This is that same wall. I caught a lot of pictures on that wall because uh, the sun shines through the, the big window and the desk is right here. So on the desk I saw the shadow of the stapler. You can see the stapler there and the cup. The cup with the pen, another pencil or something, and the scissors, and just thought it was cool. That's all. <laughs> and then, let's see, this one I think is pretty cool. This one I like. This is, um, the door to my backyard and um, there's just this um, glass cover over top of the back door and the blinds are behind the glass and so over on the other side of the room was this lamp and it's hard to tell. I guess maybe the flash came on when I took the picture. But the rest of the house was pretty dark. And as I was walking past, just this one light was reflecting off of the glass. And it looked sort of half creepy, <laughs> but half pretty. Because the whole rest of the house was dark besides that light and its reflection on this glass. So, I thought that was really pretty. And this is just another one of my dog. I couldn't decide which picture I liked better. You see his little head and his ears are sticking up, so he must, he must see something else. bit of fur right there in the curtains. Let's see. And there's not much to say about this one. I just liked how the the light shining through the blinds made these um, curved lines on the curtain. Only because the curtain is bunched up and waved there, so I liked the pattern that it, that it made on the curtain. So, um, I just liked how the lines were sort of adding to the pattern on the curtains themselves. Now, let's see, this next one here, a lot of these pictures are um, little shadows that were sort of created by 
all of my mini blinds. <laughs> so this one I just thought was neat. I was outside and um, at night and somehow it reflected in this way. The light, I guess, from inside the house. And this was all over the ground outside, the driveway and the street. And, um, I don't know, something about how sort of blurred the lines are. It just seemed really pretty to me, and it was covering a really big area. Not that my house is really big or anything. this whole area and I thought it was pretty. Okay, so there's a shoe. <laughs> this is that same spot. Um, the desk down here and the window is on the opposite wall and somebody was <laughs> just laying on the couch probably watching YouTube or something, laying upside down with their feet up in the air, so I just caught a shot. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Okay, so this one here kind of a weird picture. So this is a like a little little shelf or a little uh, table of drawers and I had placed something on top of the table and it made these marks and as I walked past it just caught my eye because at first it looked like some sort of animal, if you could see this circle here. It uh, looked like two eyes and a nose that was just looking back at me. Kind of looks like, um, I don't know, some sort of cartoon, like almost looks a little bit like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> with his shiny red nose. And there's the face. And now, as I'm looking at it on the computer, if you sort of tilt your head this way a little bit, it can almost look like a cartoon, like, little person. If you see the head here, and then the chin right there, and two big eyes, and a nose and a mouth and then there's like the hair right there I don't know, can you see that? so, let's see this one here I just thought it was pretty um, there's like these little sheer curtains here or valance balance that I have over top of one of the windows. And I really just thought that the shadow was even prettier than the curtain itself. I love how you can really see the sheerness of the curtain with the outline here. This was really pretty. So that's all. Now this one I think is pretty cool. This one, this is a, um, there's a window right here, and there's a screen, as there normally is, and I have another little valance here, and you can see these little, little things hanging down from the curtain, and, um, it just has these little circles, sort of hanging down from the edge of the curtain. And right here in front of the window 
is a little table and I have a bunch of different teas here on top of the table and this is a nice collection that I have in a tin and you can see that the flavors inside are different fruit flavors of tea blueberry and pomegranate, mango, raspberry and mint so the shadow of one of the little circles on the curtain was reflecting onto the tea and you can see it's making this little circle with the lines in it there it almost looks like it belongs on the tea box like looks like a little slice of fruit like maybe a lemon or orange or something like that so I just kind of caught it at the perfect time and it's almost just the right size too so that's a cool one and this one, of course I had to take this picture I'm sure you can tell who this is it's Spongebob and Patrick and a candle so uh, these were just two little figurines that happened to be sitting on the on the desk one day somebody put those there and of course I had to shoot a picture of it that's it and on another day someone had left a brush laying on the on the desk and it just sort of looked like a porcupine the brush was laying on its back This one I thought was really cool. Um, now this is the opposite side of the room and the window is over on the side. And this is a painting on the wall and you can see there's a bridge and some tall buildings here. And if you can see the light shining through here almost looks like it's part of the painting but it's not it's just the way that the light was shining onto the painting at that moment but it looks like the light is shining perfectly placed and shining through the bridge here like a spotlight so that one I like Now let's see this one here. These are just two little figurines that I have sitting on a shelf. And this is a cat. And the cat is sitting next to an elephant. And I thought that was really kind of cute because the cat looks so much bigger than the elephant. So that's it. And then here's another one. So, this is in the kitchen by the sink. And you can see the dish soap there. And, um, I don't know if this is a reflection from the light shining through the soap, maybe? I'm not sure, but it was just this one singular bright light back on the wall here and all the lights were off and just this one little light was there and it's so bright and it looked like a bird or a plane or Superman maybe <laughs> oh, but it does look like something flying there it was very very bright and I thought So let's see. 
this is just some more lines. I had to throw those in there just because I think they're pretty. I like how the blinds make all these perfect, perfect lines everywhere. All right, now here is uh, there's little SpongeBob and Patrick. So there they are sitting. And on this day, um, there was this glass sitting somewhere on the desk near them. And um, I really just took the picture because I thought that the reflection and shadows of the glass on the wall were really pretty. But now that I'm looking at it, the pattern on the glass almost looks like a pattern on a pineapple, like Spongebob's house. <laughs> so that is, that makes it even more cool now, I like that. <laughs> and this one, this one I really like just happened to be walking past. And this is a little glass candle holder. I think I had this in a couple videos. But, um, this glass jar was sitting on a table over here. And the window is over to the side. And this is just a chair. And the light was shining through the window and reflecting almost this perfect um, shadow or reflection of the glass onto the chair. And you can see how perfectly the color even reflected so nicely onto the chair. It was an orange glass. It almost looks like the real thing and not a reflection. It was really pretty. And let's see, this one is another one that's... Um, I really like this one. Now this is... This is a piano right here. On top of the piano, I have a an easel for holding a picture. And, and this right here, next to the picture, was sitting this little unicorn or um, uh, figurine that my daughter had been painting. It was in one of the haul videos that I did, and it happened to be sitting right on the piano here. Now the bottom of the easel holding the picture has this like swirly, swirly design there, and I was walking past and it caught my eye because it almost looked like a horse pulling some sort of carriage with the, looks like the wheels, maybe like Cinderella's carriage. So that was, that was cool. Now this one here is just one of those little mermaid sequin pillows and it's just uh, sitting up against the wall but it made if you have these in your house anywhere you'll know you'll know that they they make some pretty reflections of light throughout the house sometimes and you can see the pretty 
pretty reflection there that it's casting onto the wall. I have a couple more pictures of different ways that these sequins were reflecting throughout my house. And that one is just a shadow of one of my favorite plants. I just had to include it because I love it. <laughs> so it's a hanging plant and it's a very, very long, viney plant. And I just thought the shadow was pretty. So, yes, the next couple of pictures you can see are more ways this um, pillow had been moved downstairs and it was sitting on a chair and at one point during the day it was casting all of these pretty pretty lights all over the house, all over the ceiling and the floor. It was almost like we had a disco ball set up in there. On this one you can see the pink lights. I couldn't capture all of them but they were all across the floor up all the furniture and then here it's reflected all on the ceiling all up the wall and all over the ceiling it was on pink and blue lights all over And then this one here, this is a table, and this is one of my favorite plants that I have, and um, the light, I think this was in the early morning, and you can see that the window is over here to this side, and the light was shining through the window so perfectly it was only shining right here on this plant and I could see why the plant is growing like this it's coming over this way trying to reach the sun and I just captured how perfectly the sun just hits that plant probably every morning like that making the plant grow in this direction. I thought that was really pretty. And this one I just thought was a pretty reflection because um, it was Christmas time and we had our tree right here and this mirror near the tree on the wall and you could see shape here and it made lots of different Christmas trees and stars one reflection for each little part of the mirror so I had one, two, three four, five, six, seven eight, nine nine stars and pretty Christmas lights and I just thought that And this one here, I'm not exactly sure what I was going for here, but you can see the, the blinds there. And this is my calendar. And there's a monkey. And for that moment, it just looked to me like the monkey was maybe looking out the window or something. Just the look on his face kind of looks like that. So this one here is just a pencil sharpener. And I'm not completely sure why I decided to take this picture other than that I just thought it was pretty. The sunlight was shining through the plastic of the pencil sharpener. And you can see all the little shavings in there from the pencil. And that just 
kind of looked like how light shines through water. And then this one here. This one, um, I'm not even really sure about this one either, about what was making this reflection here. I think it may have been a shiny purse that was hanging hanging up close to here, and it made this really cool shape. It was probably about maybe three, three or four feet tall, and maybe two or three feet wide, and it makes this pretty like funnel shape, and then comes back out, and it almost looks like a jellyfish a little Not the shape, but just uh, like the consistency of it. It was a really cool shape there with the edge a little darker there, more pronounced. So that's it for all of my pictures. I've been trying to take a lot of pictures of things outside too, like different clouds that I think are pretty cool, so um, maybe I'll do another, another video one of these days, looking at all the pictures of the clouds. I hope you enjoyed looking at these pictures.